This story was told by an old woman living in Winview Street, Hanoi. Local elders, almost everyone knows about this story. Let me tell you the story. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House. At that time, it was nearly 11 o'clock on the last day of December, 1972. On the road from an area in the outskirts of Hanoi, toward Hanoi, a young man, Nam, was struggling to ride the Thong Nhat bike, alone in the night. Thong Nhat was a famous bike brand at that time, and it was a very valuable property of every North Vietnamese people. In the winter of the North Vietnam, everything around Nam was became very thick. His breath radiated a wave of light before him. His body was covered by a thick coat. The young man whistled softly, hoping to despel the solitary space of the deserted road. Some water shops on both sides of the road, at 7 p.m., when he passed by, were now covered by jackfruit plates. During the war in the North Vietnam, people hardly used much light. And at around 7 p.m., Hanoi was in darkness. Around the young man, only the sound of frogs and insects were even. Suddenly, at a crossroad, there was a girl holding a lane, gently call Nam for a ride. She said that going from the village to Road 32, she was waiting for someone to hitchhiking to Hanoi because she had an urgent work. In the meantime, there's a companion who is really great. Nam was happy for the girl sitting behind, and deliberately cycling more freely. They started the story. The girl told her name is Mai, her house at number 820 on Quan Tan Street. Her whole family evacuated to Sunte, and she went to a relative's house in this village. She had a rush to go to the city today. Nam said that, he worked in the Hanoi self-defense team. This afternoon, he had to go in here until now. They happily talked to make the road seem shorter. After a few moments, Nam felt that the girl had the little shriek. He suddenly remembered that the girl was wearing only a white shirt. He hurriedly stopped the bike and Gallant took off his coat, gave it to the girl and purported that he was too hot because of cycling. The girl wearily wore the jacket and they continued their journey. Nam excitedly told stories about his life, and only heard the voices yes gently from the back. The story was coming in, but there is a question that he asked twice that he still didn't hear the girl answer. Nam turned around and suddenly felt a cold feeling along his spine. After the bike was empty, he thought, where is the girl? Shish. She just sit behind me. How can she go away? In the context of Northern Vietnam building socialism, also the hardship of war, the warm coat is a valuable asset. Although he did not know if he could find the girl again. The guy the next morning rode his bicycle to the address of 820 Quan Tan Street. After the door call was a man with an sorrow appearance. The house was deserted because perhaps the whole family had evacuated, only he stayed behind to look after the house. Sir, is this the Mai's home? Right, I am your father. Can you let me meet Mai? Okay, please come in. Entering the house, the guy seemed to want to fall back. On the altar in front of Nam is a picture of Mai. Still her face, that hair, still smiling. But the incense smoke tarnished a corner of the picture frame. The guy stood as if he was planted, then suddenly plopped down on the bench to the wall near the door. After a calm retreat, the guy narrated the story yesterday. The face of the man was down, he slowly said. Mai was died because of a bus accident at the road 32 more than two years ago. On a summer afternoon when she went to Sante to visit relatives. From time to time, there were occasional friends who lit her to make incense. So at first, I thought you were a friend of her. 
The guy approached the altar, lighted the three pinch girl and hurriedly left. The story with the guy is a grisly, memorable memory for a lifetime. I wonder if he will continue to follow the next important detail, but it is no less horrifying. It was in April of the following year, when visiting the girl's grave. Her family saw a broken shirt that had been torn by rain and sun and was submerged under the Dao tree on her grave. That was the coat of the guy. Above are all my notes on the story of the girl on the avenue. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House. See you guys in the next videos.